Good morning, Jesse McDougall here with the Martial Arts of Money, coming at you with a book review today. Uh, I've had this book for quite a while. It is Get Smarter uh, by Seymour Schultz. So this is kind of an interesting book because I read this book I think in 2009. So seven years ago. I was living in London, Ontario. Since then I've moved from London to Fort McMurray, to Sudbury, to Vancouver, to Thunder Bay, back to Vancouver. In the course of that time I've probably been to about 10 different countries. So why do I still have this book? All that travel, but this book is still here. Hmm, that's interesting. And I'm just free thinking right now. I'm just speaking through the heart here. So why is that? It's very interesting. That's what's led me on this, uh, doing all these book reviews for, um, one of the reasons it led me on these book reviews, like all these books here. So all the years that I've traveled, this is just my current bookshelf. I've lost probably two shelves like this. And I realized, hey, wait a second. Uh, because once I became a you know an expert with accounting, uh, classify myself as an expert uh, in mixed martial arts, and uh, you know a lot of unique stuff. So just a different path. So I was like, okay, started talking to people about some of the stuff I'm into, and like just no clue, just totally over the head. And I could kind of see when you or you start talking about like servers and IPs, and you see people's eyes go in the back of the head, and they just you lose them, right? So that's one of the reasons why I started these uh, video blogs here. But the biggest thing out of this book, I remember this. Uh, so shout out to my friend, Sandra Santos. She bought me this when I was in the hospital after one of my uh, Muay Thai fights. I had my appendix removed. It almost burst, actually. It was an insane amount of pain. But the biggest thing, so she brought me as a gift, so she's awesome. Uh, the biggest thing out of this book, I remember, the biggest thing is like how a pair of breasts will throw off the whole office environment. If you get a woman, very voluptuous breasts, you need to be aware of it. It uh, makes men crazy. It just does. So I thought that was freaking funny. He's like, who writes? Like, But yeah, you know, and it totally makes sense. I never forgot it. So I always kind of look at crowd dynamics. And if you put uh, a girl into, I don't know, just men and women just see how they they react it's just it's interesting and uh, okay so this actually was a very easy book to read again another another book why do i ha why have i kept this book for nine years through all my travels and it's really easy to read because there's value here i'm noticing all these books that are pretty easy to read there's value in these a lot you don't need to overcomplicate this stuff sex and love this guy's talking about getting smarter and he's talking about women's breasts and sex and love. I'm not saying this is all he talks about. It might sound kind of sexist or whatever, but these are important issues. Uh, friends, another chapter. Never envy the rich man or any person. That's true. That's true. This is a good book, man. I might actually read this again. Be the promoter, not the promotee. Selling. Never give out free options. That's one thing I'm working on is uh, not working for free anymore. I don't work for free. Um, I spend a lot of time building other people's businesses, even getting paid well. And just I'm not into it. Or in the world of entrepreneurship, when you're trying to do something for someone in exchange, non-monetary barter transaction, uh, end up working for free or testing someone's offer on my email network. It's like, no, no, I'm not doing that. You can pay me and I'll send it. But uh, that's it. Don't let cash burn a hole in your pocket. Track the cash. Very important. Track your cash. Track your cash. Track your cash. Track, 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 track your cash. You don't need to be a chartered accountant to follow your numbers. Uh, if you don't follow your numbers, that's where do you think that's going to lead you? I know where that's going to lead you. and It's not going to lead you to the top. It's not going to lead you to financial independence. It's going to leave you with, hey, where would all my money go? And you look back what well, and then you bring your stuff to a, a guy like me and I'll go over your, your finances or your business and be, oh, well, look, all your, your money it went here, there, 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 that. Like, this is like, you know, you could have done made a little different moves. 
played some chess with your own money. Um, I thought I highlighted a lot in here, but I guess I didn't. The oil industry, interesting. It's a myth that I made the bulk of my money in the gold industry. Okay, cool. That's really it for this book. I didn't highlight stuff. Oh, that's because I was in the hospital. <laughs> didn't have a highlighter on my hospital bed. Um, yeah. Five stars out of five. And uh, I totally forgot this book existed. And uh, it's a great book. Get smarter. Get smarter. Right? <laughs> if you're... See, see, you're some dude at home or some woman or whatever. And you're like, okay, just like, you know, you're... What do I do with my life? I'm depressed. Do not go get an antidepressant pill from your doctor. Do not do that. Do not do that. I don't have a medical degree to say that, but trust me, don't do that. Okay, that's not your answer. You're not sure what to do? Buy this book. Hey, get smarter. Hmm. Good place to start. So this book, nine years ago, now I've got all these books. Like I've got a, let's here, I'll show you all these books on the floor. Well, oh, these books on the floor. These are the books that I'm probably not going to get to to read. Um, I went through, where am I at right now? Ah, I'm right here. So I plan to go through these books and these books. But these books, I'm going to toss out. Anyways, I need to get back to the grind. My phone's ringing, never stops. Take care. Bye.